keto ice cream. Is this the next big breakthrough to help people lose weight, drop body fat, and have what they want to eat? Or is it the next big diet scam? Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, the High Octane Dad, helping to unlock the superhuman potential inside every father. And today, we're going to dive deep into looking at keto ice cream. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, yes, keto ice cream may be the godsend that people have been waiting for. But what is ketosis and can that really help? Well, as many of you know, getting into a state of ketosis is getting the sugar out of your liver, lowering your acetate and parts per million so that your body can unlock and use fat for energy as opposed to gluconeogenesis or just using the sugar from your liver. Now, what does that have to do with ice cream? In fact, you probably know that ice cream would load the liver. It would be full of sugar. It would block any attempts to try to drop body fat. And worse than that, you're going to store body fat by eating ice cream. But can you engineer an ice cream in a way so that the ice cream itself will promote ketosis? I'm a little skeptical myself, but let's dive deep into it. I'm going to measure my blood glucose now against this Halo Keto ice cream, Keto Series ice cream. And honestly, I don't even like good ice cream, so I'm really interested to see the effects that this Keto Series has on my blood glucose level. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a baseline blood glucose level. I'm going to have the ice cream, the suggested serving size, and then we're going to come back and check it in about 20 minutes. Now you can see here that this is my baseline glucose. This is not my fasting glucose level. This is my daily baseline glucose level 106 and the time is 5.35 a.m. right now. So I'm going to have the ice cream. I'm going to give it about 20 minutes after I'm done with the ice cream. We'll get a time on that and then we'll measure it again to get an effect of what the Keto Series Halo ice cream does to my blood glucose. Now I'm looking at right now, the suggested serving size is two thirds of a cup. So I used a third measuring spoon, measuring cup, and had two of them. Putting it in a cup right now, gonna eat it. And the time right now, it's 5.38 a.m. So yes, I gave it a shot. In fact, I think I gave it a pretty good shot. I really wanted to see if it would affect my blood glucose levels, but I would be lying if I didn't tell you that I also was very concerned with the taste. Knowing what regular ice cream tastes like, could you possibly reproduce it with quote unquote healthier ingredients? It is something that you're gonna have to judge that for yourself, but this is what I found. The taste was okay. It wasn't bad. I don't think anybody that really loves ice cream is going to love it. Because of all the sugar alcohol, there is a little bit of burning sensation in the throat. Uh, if it was made with sugar, I'm sure it wouldn't taste that way. But since there's a lot of sugar alcohol, erythritol is the major one. Uh, it's going to leave a little bit of a burning sensation. I'm just really hoping it doesn't lead to any GI problems. But really what I'm looking for today, it's all about blood glucose level. Okay. Now I'm going to get another blood glucose level right now. It's been about 20 minutes since I've had the Halo Top Keto Series chocolate ice cream. So let's check the blood glucose level. It's now coming up in about 50 minutes after I had the Halo Top Keto Series chocolate ice cream. Let's take a look at the glucose. OK, 
Okay, so you can see that it did jump at about 40 minutes after I ate it. And typically I tell people if you're looking to measure your glucose response, look 30, maybe 40 minutes after you have something. I don't have a continuing monitoring glucose device, which would be great, and some of you do. You can see exactly what the peak is, but here it was about at 40 minutes. I got up to 122, a little bit above my range at 122. In fact, personally, I don't like to get above 110. For most people, I teach them 120. Above that, you're going to start storing fat. So I think even with the keto ice cream, I'm going to start storing fat. Now you have to realize I'm like the least likely person to test this food group. Yes, I do like testing food against my blood glucose level. My methodology, I measure my glucose, I record the baseline, I eat or drink something. If it's an individual item, I'll wait about 15 minutes. If it's combined with a bunch of things, I might wait 20 to 30 minutes to see the overall effect of it. But I was very curious to see this one and how it played out. So what does all this mean? Well, when it comes to keto ice cream, as you can imagine, it's not made out of chicken. It's gonna be made out of things that are gonna increase your blood sugar level, maybe not to the same extent as old fashioned ice cream, although that's debatable as well. See, the original ice cream would use, well, cream, ice and cream, and then they would flavor it. Most ice creams nowadays don't use real heavy cream. At best, they might use some whole milk, but most of the time, it's 2%, 1% or skim. What I don't like about this keto ice cream is it's using skim milk, which is gonna be higher in sugar by itself. Also too, they, yes, they remove the sugar, but they add sugar alcohols back into it. Erythritol, malitol, mannitol, glycerol. Those types of things still have a insulin and blood sugar response. Don't think for a second that they don't because they really do. Now, will this put somebody into ketosis? No, it's not gonna put anybody into ketosis. If you're already deep into ketosis and you're eating well all the time, you're not having sugars, you're not eating starches, you're not having bread, you're exercising and doing your lifting, and it's been a long time. If you had it, it may not pull you out just during an occurrence of doing it, but that's not most people. Most people are trying to get into a greater state of ketosis, they're trying to drop body fat, and having something like this keto ice cream, and I tested just one, the Halo Top, but there's other ones, the Rebel and all that, and they're very similar it's not going to put you into ketosis. My view is this, is you could utilize it as a cheat day meal, and it might be considered a better cheat day product than some other ice cream or other things that you might have. If you don't absolutely love the taste and you just want the regular ice cream you normally eat for your cheat day, go ahead and do that. It's really all about the other days that you want to keep your blood sugar level low by having the right diet. So hopefully today this video served you. I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, the high octane dad, helping to unlock the superhuman potential inside every father.